Welcome. In this video, I want to continue with uh, differentiation. We are going to continue using the rules that we've discussed in the previous videos. Hope you, you've checked them out. So in our question, we want to differentiate with respect to x in of this one. So you can see in is a function and within the brackets we have various functions. So we have to use chain rule. So if we have to use chain rule, we we'll have uh, y prime, which is the same as dy over dx is equal to, we differentiate this one in, then we differentiate the function that is inside. Now, the derivative of in is 1 over whatsoever is inside. So it will be 1 over cos x plus sine x divided by cos x minus sine x. Then we have to multiply with a derivative of this one, d of that one with respect to x. So we have to multiply with a derivative of uh, this function in brackets. Now, again, this function is presented as a fraction, it's a quotient. So I'm going to use a uh, quotient rule. So I can call this one u. I can call this one a v, okay? So I know I have to come and use quotient rule. So first I have to find the derivative of u and the derivative of v then I'll write a quotient through there. So uh, u prime, which is the derivative of u, we are going to differentiate this one. But whenever you are differentiating this, what you have to do is we have to use some kind of a circle something like this. Here it is sine, there cos, there minus sine, there minus cos. So if we are differentiating sine, it's cos. If we are differentiating cos, it's minus sine. Minus sine, it's minus cos in the clockwise direction. So to differentiate this one, we are going to use the sum rule. We differentiate this one plus the derivative of this one. So the derivative of cos, it will be minus sine x. Again, we differentiate x, which will be 1. So we can multiply with 1. Plus the derivative of sine x, sine x, we come to cos, so it will be cos x. I can come here, we find the derivative of v. Derivative of v, we differentiate this one using the difference rule. We differentiate this one minus the derivative of this one. So cos again, will come to minus sine x. Then when we differentiate minus sine x here, we go to minus cos x. So now we have u prime and v prime, so we can apply the quotient through which we've discussed in the videos. So y prime becomes, since we are dividing, we can multiply so that this becomes the reciprocal. Now when this becomes the reciprocal, it will be 1 multiplied by this on top and that down. So this will be cos x minus sine x over cos x plus sine x. Remember here we are dividing, so I can bring in multiplication. So this is the same as 1, one this one, multiplied by this, uh, the reciprocal of this, which is what I've done here. Then here I'm going to use quotient true. Now quotient true we have v u prime minus u v prime all over v squared. So now I'm going to bring this in the next step. So 1 multiplied by this we're going to remain with that. So y prime is equal to, I'll remain with cos x minus sine x over cos x plus sine x, then I'll write uh, v, v is this one, so this will be cos x minus, that is my v, then u prime is what we found there, it will be minus sine x plus cos x, okay, I'm going to, to wrap. 
I'm going to wrap because this will take. Okay. So now I have to use that minus in the formula. What is u? U is cos x plus sine x. This will multiply with uh, v prime. V prime is the same as minus, if I try to factor out minus, sine x plus cos x. Here I've factored out a negative to have a plus there. Now this whole thing are going to have v squared. What is our v? Our v is that. So we are going to have cos x minus sine x, this thing should be squared according to the formula, the quotient rule. Now, when we look at this, and that we can see that these things get simplified. So this will simplify with that. So I will simplify with one of those. Then, when we look at this, this is twice. When we look at this, this is twice. So minus and minus are going to have a plus. So what I'm going to have is this will be cos okay cos x minus sine x this squared. Okay, you can see this and that are the same so I can square them because I'm multiplying minus again you can see that this minus and minus will be positive, so this one will be positive. So now these again, they are two. They are the same thing, this one and that one. So I can square them. So this will be cos x plus sine x. This thing squared, divide by. Here I've remained with cos x plus sine x. Here of cos x minus sine x. So here we have a minus, there we have a plus. So this is the factorization of difference of two squares. So if I try to combine this with that, I'm going to have cos squared x minus sine squared x. I'll expand this and expand that. So this will be equal to, when I try to expand this one, it will be cos squared x minus 2 cos x sine x plus sine squared x that would be the expansion of that plus if I try to expand this I'm going to have cos squared x plus 2 sine x cos x plus sine squared x then this will divide what is there cos squared x minus sine squared x now when we look at two sines sine x cos x here we have minus so this will simplify and that will simplify we are going to remain this plus that and this plus that. So what we have now is cos squared plus uh, cos squared x plus sine plus cos squared x plus sine squared x. This thing divided by what is here? Cos squared x minus sine squared x. So now when you look at this using the Pythagoras identity, uh, this plus that we get one, and this plus that we get one. So in other words, we are going to have two, because there are two of these. So I can say two cos squared x plus sine squared x. Now this thing is equal to one multiplied by two, we get two. So what we are going to have is two, because this one, what we have here, this is one, and what we have here is 1. So it will be 1 plus 1 which would give us 2 using the Pythagoras identity. Then this will, will remain the way it is. And this will be our derivative. Okay, so every time you are taught to differentiate, 
if you have a function and some function you're going to use chain rule, you differentiate in, then you differentiate what is inside. And this is what we did to come here. So for this and more videos, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.